This is probably going to be one of my shortest videos ever. This is a Dell 4600, a Dimension 4600, one of the really old desktops that many people still have. And I just did a video on cloning a hard drive, which I did with uh, some software called Macrium. You can do it with a Cronus or Clonezilla. I used Macrium and now I'm going to be putting the hard drive in there. So when you look at this thing, it's just kind of really confusing how you put a new drive in this thing. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm not going to make it 10 minutes like everyone else is on, how, on showing how to do this. You slide the outer cover off. If you don't know how to slide off your outer cover, then you probably shouldn't be doing this. But you slide off the left side cover and you might want to also take off the front. Let me show you the front that I took off. There it is. You can see that I took the front of the computer off. You probably don't have to do that, but you might want to do it while you're at it. Clean up all this dust, which even though I dust it every month, just gets built up all over the place. Okay, so when you open this thing up, you're trying to figure out how in the world do I remove this hard drive because they don't really make it self-explanatory. What you need to do, I'm not going to turn the PC upside down, but underneath on the bottom are two screws, and those screws are holding in your hard drive bracket, this bracket over here that holds your hard drive. So you need to remove the two screws on the bottom. This metal case will come off that is holding your hard drive inside over here. There's also a screw on the side at the very far back. Um, you see that? You probably can't see it, but there is a screw hole way, 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 way back there. There it is. See that screw hole? There's a screw hole back there. You're going to take the screw off that is holding on the leg of this bracket. Then you're going to take out the bracket and you're going to remove the two screws. I'm holding the camera sideways just so you can get a better view of what's going on. This is the hard drive case. The hard drive slides in from the top. The hard drive is held in by two screws, one screw here and one screw over there. But you need to be, you can't slide the hard drive up from the top. You need to remove this bracket and that's mostly what I'm telling you about in the video. To do that you need to turn the case, the computer, upside down or slide it off the edge of the table might be a little safer. And there are two screws on the bottom of the case that will allow you to remove this. There's also, can you see it? Right back there, there's a little screw hole. I don't know if you can see it. That screw hole over there. I took the screw out. You have to take that screw out also. That will allow you to remove this case. Then you can put your new hard drive in, slide it in, put your two screws back in, put the screw in way, way, way back there, put the two screws in on the bottom, make sure everything's lined up, plug in your power cable, your IDE cables, and that is how you replace a hard drive and a Dell Dimension 4600 desktop computer that is probably like uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. It's a really old PC. So hopefully this helped. Make sure you go to my main channel page, donate, click on the support this channel link, thumbs up, subscribe, link all my videos to everything in the world. Thank you. And to finish off the video, I am booting up the SATA drive that I cloned. I'm using a SATA drive converter board. And let's see what happens here. I think everything looks good. So MacRame is pretty awesome. I'm very happy with the program. I think you can see my little setup over here. There's the hard drive plugged into a SATA converter board, plugging into IDE cable, and there are the power cables.